Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Richie Plunker from the Puppetum Geek and MMGN.com, and today I've got a review for you guys of the Glass T by SGP. Now, what this is is actually a glass screen protector for your iPhone 4 and 4S. So let's go put this on. So what you get in the box is, you know, a squeegee right there, you know, to get out all the air bubbles. What's this? This is like a um, a swab just to clean your screen. I guess this is just a, you know, serial number, which is interesting. Um, so that sort of gives like, you know, authenticity of the actual product. And there's little, um, you know, there's little buttons you actually put on your home screen. Um, because, you know, it does actually, uh, from what I've seen, when you actually put the screen protector on, is making it slightly a bit thicker. Um, so, you know, having that button on there just makes it easier to press the home button. Now, you know, obviously also the screen protector itself which is right there. And as you can see, um, it's a nice hard sort of glass-like screen protector. And that's it. So let's all put these off to the side and get this baby on. So I just had a quick read of the manual. Seems pretty easy to put on. What I'm going to do first is actually get my old screen protector off my iPhone and we'll go from there. We'll just give this a nice clean and all you have to do is peel this back off, just line it up. Now what's funny is it's actually a lot smoother just by touching it, it's just, it, you know, I don't know, it just feels really different. Um, one thing though, you know, make sure you stick around um, because I will be having a review of this, you know, of, you know, generally over a week or so. So let's peel this off first. And as we have it right there, I'll just give it another nice clean. So actually, as you can see here, I've placed that little button thing, nub sort of thing, I like to call it that home screen, as you can see there, um, right in here, because it does feel a bit indented, if you want to put it that way. Uh, it's not really thick, but you can definitely feel the difference. And placing that button there just makes it a lot easier hitting the home screen. So I'll bring it a bit closer. So as you can see here, the screen, you know, doesn't really look that much different. But as you can see, um, you know, there you can sort of see the lining of the screen protector. Um, it is, you know, what, less than a millimetre thick, but it does add a little bit more protection to your actual screen, and I think that itself is worth having. Now, you can pick this up from SPG, or sorry, SGP. I'll put a link down below to them. And pretty cheap, and, you know, for the peace of mind, it's not bad. So overall, it's been a week now since I've been using this glass screen protector and I can say that it actually really works. Now in my scenario, it is, what it is is basically I have my phone in my pocket with my keys and coins and usually with normal screen protectors, it gets really scuffed really quickly. But with the glass screen protector, I can actually physically get my key and, you know, draw my name in it you know, swipe it off and nothing is, there's nothing wrong with the screen, which is just really incredible. Now, if you're looking for a glass screen protector, look no further than these guys because these guys do a really great job in creating a glass screen protector. Now, one thing I have to say about this screen protector is that, you know, you can, you have to be really careful when placing it, like any screen protector, because what I did was, I, play, I cleaned it really well, and when I went to go place the actual thing on there, some hair or some dust might have got caught in there. So it's, luckily it's not on the screen itself, but it's just around the edges. And small things like that really tick me off, so I have to deal with it now. But <laughs> with other major bubbles on there, it actually disappeared after a couple of days, which is pretty cool. So if you're putting a, a, a screen protector on, uh, remember to clean it really well, have it in a non-dusty area. I think I was doing it in my room, which is pretty dusty. So anyway guys, I hope you liked that video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And leave a comment down below. But anyway guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.